Davidson, producer of Kiss PDX, and I'm here today visiting Lunaria Financial, and um, obviously I'm here with the beautiful Bella and Luna. Can you just tell us a little bit about what is Lunaria Financial? Uh, we're a financial planning firm. We specialize in working with women, doing sustainable investing, and working particularly with creatives. So that's our forte. So obviously there's a direct tie-in with Kiss PDX and with Absolutely. what you're doing. We have a lot of shared values. So tell me a little bit about why you decided to join us this year for Kiss PDX as a speaker. Wow, uh, it's such <laughs> an honor to be able to join and I'm delighted to be able to bring concepts of money that are probably not being taught out there. Well, I haven't found them being taught anywhere. <laughs> because my whole approach is about teaching women that um, it doesn't have to be a scary or intimidating or a place of feeling incredibly inadequate, which many, many women feel. And part of that's because the language of money has never been brought into um, a visual context right. in particular. Right. Uh, it's very left-brained. I tend to mm -hmm. be, a, I'm a visual artist, and um, so I use a lot of metaphor, story, and visuals to help people learn what it is that gets in their way, right. how to work with it, how to bring that emotional piece into their understanding of um, what they do with money, why they do it, and how to get out of the patterns that seem to be um, basically making everything happen the way it does, continually over doing the things you don't want to do over and over again. Can you just sum up for the women watching today what your topic is about, a little teaser maybe for the people who are going to join us? So the title of my talk is, your, um, Are You Missing the Money Gene? <laughs> and I chose that topic because that's what I think women feel if they were really asked honestly, what do you feel about this? You just feel like innately I just can't do it. Or there's pieces of it I can't do. There's some women that are very good at earning. I hear this a lot. It's like, well, I'm great at bringing it in, but I can't hold on to it. <laughs> I can't invest it. A lot of what I, I'm teaching in this um, in this particular seminar is, I'm gonna get your, you're gonna be working hands on, getting at images, using writing, a little bit of drawing. Don't get scared about the drawing. <laughs> Stick figures work great. But the whole point is to get at the unconscious beliefs that hold us in, and, and often people do these drawings and they're like, oh my God, I had no idea that's how I felt. Uh, one woman had drew a picture in my class recently. Um, she, she was standing with a, a, a dollar in her hand mm -hmm. and behind her it was raining money. And she's like, if I could just turn around, the money's wow. right there, but I haven't turned around. So powerful so to then, see that. So then we do another drawing and she, and she turns around and faces the money in the drawing. And then puts that up and looks at it all the time so that she has a visual image. That's what we'll be doing in the class. You'll walk away with an image. Yeah, it's fantastic to you because I think that you're bringing something that sometimes feels intangible or difficult to to really put into something that's concrete. It's exactly. just all these figures and all, and all of these things and there's the should. You have so much. I feel like women especially, it's sort of like the shame around the should, what we should or shouldn't be doing, what we should and shouldn't know about money. Right. And I love that you kind of cross that barrier and, and those things get set aside and it becomes about what's important for women right. to know and understand. And moving forward versus looking back at all of the bad stuff, right? right? Where can people find out about um, your business? My website is lunariafinancial.com, and you can also just Google Luna Jaffe. It's, uh, I also have an artistic website so people can see what I do artistically. Mm -hmm.